Okay, we're now ready to rumble here in Musselboro. Already in the ring, Mark Anthony from Doncaster, one of the season pros on today's circuit, as we welcome into the ring from Glasgow, Steve McLeavy. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please welcome into the ring the former Scottish ABA Live Waterweight Champion, Steve McLeavy. <laughs> on Wire TV, promoted by Tommy Gilmore and Barry Hearn, and sponsored by the East Lothian District Council and Pride Homes Limited. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, to ringside, our commentators are Paul Weir and Barry McGuigan, and all your officials for tonight are appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control. Your steward in charge is uh, Dr. Jimmy Shea, and your matchmaker for the evening, Graham Lockwood. Ladies and gentlemen, the opening contest is a light waterway contest over six two minute rounds. Introducing in the red corner with the white shorts with 13 wins from 43 contests, nine inside the distance. He comes from Doncaster, Mark Anthony. <laughs> And ladies and gentlemen, his opponent in the blue corner with the black shorts, undefeated, two wins from two contests, one inside the distance, from Glasgow, Steve McLeavy. <laughs> At the weigh-in today, Mark Anthony scale, 10 stone, 5 pound and 4 ounces, and Steve McLeavy, 10 stone, 2 pounds. Your referee is Al Hutchin of Glasgow, and your timekeeper, Jim Russell of East Kilbride. Ladies and gentlemen, six two-minute rounds. Well, good evening, everybody. Here we have the first contest of the evening between Steve McLeavy from Claybank against Steve, Mark Anthony from Doncaster. Anthony has watched before and he's a tough guy, he always produces a good performance, comes in at short notice, he's a bit of the uh, promoter's dream, he always is in fit and good condition. And you can see he had started off pretty well. I've got with me tonight Paul Weir, former WBO strawweight champion. And uh, Paul, you know this kid, don't you, Steve McLeavy? Yeah, I know. I've, I've seen Steve McLeavy in a lot of amateur fights, and I've seen his last two professional fights. You know, he's got a few things to learn. And his last his last boy he fought was Walker. Yes. You know, and I've seen a few falls in Steve, you have to learn, keep his hands up, move his head a bit more. Yeah, he's, uh, he's inclined to be a bit static, but... Uh, uh, there's no doubt. I think I've watched his last fight too, actually. He does have a bit of power on those punches. But, uh, He's got a good right but, hand. Yeah, as we've just seen. Particularly good with the right hand. Uh, oh, well, there we are. Absolute beauty. Right on the button. And Mark Anthony walked right onto that one. That was an absolute cracking punch. And I don't know whether Anthony's going to make it. He's out cold. Fantastic win. That's number three for Steve McLeavy. And that was probably the most sensational win he's had. What a right hand. He walked straight on with Mark Anthony. He had teed off from the start for Steve McLeavy. Walked straight on with that right hand, and that was a superb finish. Look at this in replay. Now, what's this right hand coming right from the bottom of his foot? That's an absolutely picture perfect overarm right. Lifted his elbow high, put all his weight behind it. You see it here, Paul. Just talk us through this. And the last fight right hand. And the last fight as well. I've seen Steve, that's what he likes to do. See them up for the right hand. Yeah. And, the, and again, it showed his power. No doubt about that. He's got to work on his defense, but this uh, kid, no, definite, no, no doubt about it, has got to. Uh, a lot of punching power and obviously a fair deal of potential as well. Tremendous win for him. Well, Steve, that was an explosive start to the new series on Wire TV. Did it feel as good as it looked? Did it feel good at first? I was a wee bit slow in starting, but once I got, a, I got a bobbing and weaving going, I knew it was going to come. 
I knew the rate was coming over the right left. Well, listen, I'm sure you'd like to watch it again. Just just talk us through this. Well, he's coming with a lot of big punches. So I seen his, he's throwing his left first, so I just threw it at the top of his left when it was coming. Uh, just landed right in the button. Well, that's, uh, that's eight, nine, ten. And now, Steve, look at it from another angle here. He throws his left, and then I countered with the right. Put it the, bobbed into the middle, and I just threw the right. Well, I have to tell you, that was a very sweet punch indeed, young man, and that's three out of three. I mean, where to from now? Well, more fights to get more experience, and then hopefully step up the ladder in the later in my career. Well, Just you're that. well on the way, Steve, and explosive punching like that is going to make you a great fan. Yeah. The fans are going to love you. Well done. We'll see you again soon. Congratulations. Great night's work. Well, that was an explosive start now, and of course... A first round knockout, if these things happen in boxing, and that was a great shot. That was a great shot, believe me. Young Steve McCleavy going three out of three. You can't argue with that.